So, we all know this Bugster comes with a 1,800 milliamp battery. Comes with that standard. And we all know that I have some 3,000s already. But that weren't enough. So I went down to Active Scale Models and I bought the biggest battery that they had. Apart from LiPo's, obviously. But this is the biggest battery they had in stock. So let's go and try it out, shall we? So I've got the world's biggest battery in there. It just about fits. Um, it's a bit fatter than the other ones, but it just fits in. You have to proper squidge it down, and we're in there. Little thing to remember is, with this clip here, put it in that way around, because this bit won't rub on the wire. If you put it this way around, so you've got this pointy edge, what happens is, as your car's going along, it'll rub on the pointy edge, and it'll rub a hole in your wire. Speaking from experience there, you lot, so think about that. A lot of you don't bother thinking about things like that, and you end up with... Um, Problems, but um, think about that. We away. Let's go. We can say bye bye to the spoiler anyway.
Well, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm happy with that. The only thing I've noticed that you've got to watch with that battery is because it's got a bit more power in it, the old slipper clutch likes to slip a lot more and you lose a lot of your power. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, the slipper clutch is there for a reason, you know, it's there to protect all your gears and your diffs and your motor and all that rubbish, you know, what we're there for. Fuck all that. I always tighten them up if I need to. And uh, with that, I'm going to need to tighten the slipper clutch up a bit so it don't slip as much, or if anything at all. That way I'll get the full power out of it. But I'm proper happy with that. Nice little, uh, a bit of an improvisation, you know. It's raining a lot, and um, I thought, I'm not going to bother going out. I can't be bothered with that. Um, one thing I don't, that I don't really like doing is just going out. So, um, and getting all, uh, yeah, it's just a faff, isn't it? So, I smashed up a bit of furniture that I had laying around and made a couple of ramps, as you saw. So we had a bit of fun. Lovely job. No, oh, prop battery with that. I don't know how long that battery will last. Um, I had one of those batteries before in a drift car, and it lasted uh, quite a long time in a drift car. I don't know what it would like, be like in that, but um, yeah. Speaking of drift cars, for any of you that may be wondering, is my drift car lovely, lovely Mavic? Oh, I've got a microphone stuffed in between. I'll just I stretched the mic out to try and stretch the cable a bit because it was a bit short. Anyway. Yeah, so I put um, an XT60 connector on it yesterday, uh, so I can run any one of these batteries in it now, including the li um, yeah the lipos, and also that five uh, fifty three hundred or five thousand three hundred milliamp battery that we just saw in that um, what's that thing called? That thing out there that I just played with. Anyway, so um, yeah, man. Prop wrap with it. All I've got to do is fix the shell. The shells are um, seen better days. Um, I've got both of the uh, lights for the front. I did have both of the lights for the back, but I can't find it. And it'll be amongst all of this up here somewhere. It will be there. Um, I've got the rear bumper. Just got to retape them on. Um, and then we've got the nice. Evo shells back again. Um, Garage R was someone that I used to talk to, and he was going to start up his own little company not a company, but a little brand, Garage R, but it never happened. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know what happened there. I was like, yeah, I'll have all your stickers, I'll stick them on everything, and I'll proper support your little brand. He gave me some stickers, and that was the end of that. So, yeah, not everyone succeeds, I suppose, but there we go, can't have it always, can we? I've also found two of the original wheels that come with this because this wasn't the drift spec one originally. It was the touring car one for like ra racing, you know. Um, the drift spec one back in 2010 when I bought this, and the drift spec one had a locked diff and it had the drift wheels on it from you know at the factory. But the touring car one come with these wheels on, these tyres. And it didn't have no lock diffs. So it still hasn't got a lock diff, but you don't need a lock diff. I'm alright at the moment without it. I need to try and get some more grippier drift wheels because these ones are all crap. Oh, they're really good. They're good wheels. And they're wearing out a bit now. They're getting a bit thin. Um, but they don't have any grip whatsoever. And for drifting, believe it or not, you need a bit of grip. So um, I'm going to try and sort out some. These These will be too grippy. Um, and I've only got two of them. I can't find the other ones. Um, I did have, obviously have four originally. Um, but I can't find them anywhere, so I'm just going to have to... I was going to stick these on and see if I can wear them down a bit, make them a bit less grippy, but I can't now, so... I was quite tempted to just put them on the front. <laughs> but um, seeing as it's four-wheel drive, that won't be a good idea. Because all that happen is it would just ruin the diffs. So, because I have more grip on the front than I would on the rear, and it won't be good. Um, anyway, yeah, love it. So, some of you might, might have been wondering about that, so... Hopefully... I know, I say it every year, don't I? Every single year, I always say, oh, I'm going to make a drift track. I'm going to make a drift track in the garden. I'm going to make a drift track here. I'm going to make a drift track there. I said I'm going to make a um, a carpet racing track, as you Americans call it. Um, I'm going to make a Mardo track, whatever, here, there, and everywhere. I bought the carpet, didn't I, last year, or the year before last. I bought all the carpet. I got all the bits and bobs. Sorry, I keep doing that because the screen's upside down. Sorry about that. Um... And I never done it, did I? I never, never went and did it. Um, but I really want to this year. I mean, not this year. It's not even 2022 yet. It's still 2021. I've got one more date to go, and then we're 2022. But I really want to make like some sort of drift track. 
because um, I love drifting RC cars. I mean, drifting real life cars is good fun, but drifting RC cars is all the fun, but less of the hassle, you know? When you're drifting real life big cars, uh, back in them days, you mess around, you know, the tyres cost a fortune, the engines and everything. It's good fun, but it costs a lot of money and a lot of time. Putting it on the trailer, taking it around everywhere and all that. Ah, oh, mate, these things, you put them in the boot of your car, you go wherever you want, you do a bit of drifting, you get all the fun, but none of that hassle. So, if I had more space and more money to play with, I'd have real life drift cars again. But, not this time. Then yeah, we're going to stick with the little RC ones now. And, um, yeah, we'll be well away with that, I think. Hopefully, uh, might better get some of the uh, um, brother-in-laws and that into it, hopefully, with any luck. A bit of electric drifting. Yeah, love it. Let's have some fun, shall we? Anyway, you lot, I'm off. I'll see you later on. I hope you enjoyed my little... I, to, to tell you the truth, what it was, I got that battery. I couldn't wait to try it out. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video of it as well. And I thought, let's fucking let's just go the whole way. I, I got the drone out, I've done everything, and just made a little video. I know it was kind of small and poncy you know but i had fun and it's something for you lot to watch so why not and i tested that battery i wanted to see how much punch it had you know what i mean i know it'd run for longer i wanted to see how much punch it had you know how much more power it had in comparison to the other ones and it's got quite a lot you know um considering that one can't take a lipo yet that's a, that's probably the best i'm going to be able to get anyway See you later on in lot. All the best. Enjoy yourselves. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy bloody New Year. <laughs>